Park. Good morning. Good morning. It is May 17th. It's a Monday. And the bikes are out. The bikes are out. And it's early. It's only like 9.32. Okay. It's only 9.32 when the bikes are out. But it is May 17th and I'm about to get my hair done. I washed my hair last night and my braider is supposed to be coming to my house. The same lady that's been braiding my hair ever since I started braiding my hair after it started to grow out. So I'm actually waiting for her to arrive. I already took a shower. I'm just sitting here waiting. My hair is actually in these alligator clips and I just twisted it so that it can be ready for it to be braided. I didn't blow it out because I'm trying to avoid the heat but it's manageable enough to be combed through to start my protective styling so so yeah this is going to be a another vacation prep video you guys know i'm going on vacation very very soon i'm actually leaving on friday it's monday so crunch time okay so stay tuned if you guys are interested make sure you keep on watching subscribe down below if you haven't already 6k we waiting for you we on the way we, we we're coming for you so make sure you guys subscribe down below give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy vlogs like this and drop something down below in the comments let's chat okay 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 so as you guys can see my hair is finished i'll go ahead and insert a cute little clip showing you guys how my hair looks but i used two and a half packs of a four hair stretch preacher stretch braided hair but i'm about to head to target oh and i also did a little curly thing on the ends but i'm about to run to target because i do need a few things um for my trip i'm pretty sure miss thing is coming so i need to go get pads tampons the whole nine and maybe some travel essentials but i think i pretty much have all my travel essentials so i'll see you guys at taji a update so i'm actually at the mall i called rika and she said she was running to the mall so i told her i would meet her there so i'm gonna go to target after i think we're running in vicky's because we both might be getting our friend and i'm sorry if this is a lot of info but we both might be getting our friend because we're both going on vacation same time together and usually we're like around we're like cycling our cycle is pretty much the same i'm sorry i don't know where my light went so yeah i'll see you guys when i get inside of the mall <laughs> okay so that went by rather quickly so i ended up meeting my friend as meeting my friend i didn't even vlog her because things were going by so quickly because she had to go get she had to run to an appointment at six so i had to like drop her and then i had to run to target after i met her at forever 21 but i did end up getting a swimsuit at Victoria's Secret. I used to love Victoria's Secret swimsuits like 2015, 2014, 2013. I used to stand a Victoria's Secret swimsuit. So I don't think I'm going to try it on on camera for you guys because I need to get a wax and grab a whole nine. But I'm going to go ahead and put up a picture on the screen showing you guys what it looks like and I'll leave a link down below. But it's really, really cute. I was in there and the girl was like, I think you're a 32 double D. I said, excuse me? A double who? What? I normally, well, I've been wearing like a C because the B's just wasn't working for me. Double D? I can't wait to go inside and try that damn swimsuit on. <laughs> like, what? But I'll definitely update you guys. But the bra, the swimsuit top does have a push-up bra. Well, it's a push-up bra style swimsuit. So maybe that's why she said double D. But it kind of fit because she kind of put it underneath my boob and it seemed to fit so i'll try it on inside and i'll let, update you guys but at target i did go in there and get what i need to get good morning good morning good morning today is may 18th right i just took a shower i'm about to do my skincare i have work today so one of my co-workers told me she would get she was gonna see if she could cover my shift she can't, so I have to go. I love you want to call out. But I always feel bad about calling out. I've been working at my job for like over a year and I've never called out. And I always feel bad about calling out. I just, it's just a good worker in me, I guess. Bitch. <laughs> Not the camera falling. I'm gonna go. I'm always gonna ask, do y'all need me? Because if y'all don't need me, don't waste my time. <laughs> Granny jalapeno me and all, but still, I could be doing other things for this dish life recover and I see you feel me. So, sorry, not sorry. Before I go, I need to ship off the giveaway orders. That's actually what you guys are resting on, <laughs> along with the bag. Like I have a whole um, handheld tripod, but it's not. It wouldn't be as tall as I needed to needed it to be on the bed. So I put y'all up on the giveaway boxes. So I'm gonna drop those off before I go to work and 
the swimsuit that I showed you guys yesterday, I'll go ahead and insert a little clip if I didn't. I mentioned that I wasn't going to try on the bottoms, but I tried on the top last night. I told y'all, sis and Victoria's Secret told me that I was a double D. I said, what? But after trying on the D, because I'm like, yeah, you dragging it. I bought the D. After trying on the D, it fits, but sis might just be a double D. So, my trash. So, I'm going to, I think I might call them prior to even going in. Just to ensure that they still have the double D. Because I remember there was only like one left in stock. The one that she was trying to give me. So I'm going to call before going. Just to ensure that they have the double D left. So I can make the exchange. And I was also trying to think like, Stush, do you even need this swimsuit? I mean, even if I don't wear it on this trip, I can have it for the summer. It's a cute little swim swimsuit. And I actually really enjoy Victoria's Secret's swimwear as i mentioned yesterday i used to wear them all the time but yeah that's on the agenda i was gonna try to do my toes today but i might just have to put that off until tomorrow unless i unless i could do that during my break because i might i think i have an hour break today i might actually do that today depending on how busy it is because my nail appointment is my actual fingernail appointment is tomorrow that's going to be in another vlog. Vlog before vacay. My maintenance before vacay vlog. So that will be coming soon. You guys are probably going to see this video first. So let me go ahead and get ready. And then I'll probably check back in. Okay. Quick update. I just called Victoria's Secret. They said they don't have 32 double D anymore. I'm trying to decide if I should keep it. I mean the 32 D fits. But I feel like the double D would fit so much better. Like I have... A lot of cleavage, a lot of cleavage, and the 32D, and I don't mind cleavage at all, let me just say that, but, um, in the long run, I'm trying to figure out if it would be smart to keep it. So I wanted y'all to let me know if I should keep it or if I should return it, but let me know because I'll wait for you guys to respond down below in the comments, so right now, stop what you're doing, let me know down below if I should keep it or return it. It's a really nice color, but I feel like the top could be a little bit bigger, or I'll bring it with me on the trip. You guys let me know. So let me finish. Okay, so I'm in the car, right? I got the giveaway packages down there. So I have some time. I no longer have to go to Victoria's Secret. I'm sorry, someone's mowing their lawn. But I got some breakfast with me in this holiday <laughs> plastic cup. It's just some caramel porridge because caramel porridge is good for the soul. Okay, so I'm drinking some of this. I have this plastic cup because this is all that was in my house, girl. I didn't feel like bringing a cup that I had to wash, so I could easily just throw this away. I'm hotter than balls. And I see you putting in on the surface, baby. You just searching for me. Ooh. Okay, update. So, I dropped off the giveaway packages. Oh, but two. Well, I dropped off two because I'm still waiting for the third giveaway winner to contact me. I try reaching out. If not, I might just have to choose someone else. So, I'm about to stop into this Sephora really quickly because I want to try to find another travel fragrance something I like a rollerball because I have two but I kind of want like a nighttime scent the scent that I want to bring bring is a little bit too big but I'm open to trying something else as well so I'm gonna stop in let's see if I see anything what did I say I was going in there for I said I'm going in there for a fragrance for nighttime right whoa there we go. so I'm going in there for a nighttime fragrance right I got a fragrance. Oh, shoot. It's not for nighttime. I've actually never even heard of this brand. It's called Rosie Jane. This is Leah Lou. Leah Lou, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Girl, I'm in the car. I don't know if y'all can see this. And the font is white, so it's gonna make it hard. I'll go ahead and probably just I'll definitely leave it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. I smelled it inside and it smelled really good. And it is an audit parfum. It says Feels like a perfect pair of blue jeans, casual, sexy, and everyday. Notes of pear, jasmine, fresh cut grass. This is what it looks like. Hopefully, that's, I think that's a lot more legible. Very minimalistic, very simple. Smells real good though. My AC is on. It just <coughs> got a little bit in my throat, girl. Yeah, it smells. It smells really good. It's definitely a fresh scent. It's going to be perfect on the islands. I like it. It's real light, but it's real cute. It kind of reminds me of... 
clean the clean brand kind of reminds me of like the Dolce Gabbana garden scents too it's real nice though I'll definitely bring this along with me I ain't gonna lie I didn't need this but it smelled really good and I'm like this would be a really nice scent to have on on vacay so I got it I was gonna get the daily cleanse I think it's called daily cleanse hum vitamins that Kyra on Monique has been raving about but I'm like, I'm about to go on vacation. I know I'm going to need it for after the vacation. So I'll just get it after the vacation. Instead of spending the money now. And I'm not going to use it right now. So I'm definitely going to pick those up. It's a green bottle. I literally had it on the line with me. And I'm like, should I get these now? But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I get back. Even though my skin is not bad. I just want to make sure I'm doing everything to de de detox um, weekly. So technically daily because it's daily pills. But yeah, I'm going to get those next time. But I'm about to go to work or whatever, so I'll catch you guys. Hey guys, ooh, I'm a little close. So I wasn't able to get out of work, but I'm back home now. Whatever, it is what it is. I want to show you guys what I got from Amazon because I did get a few travel stuff or things for the trip. Um, So let me prop y'all up and show y'all what I got. So first things first, I got this three pack of Clorox wipes because I actually don't have any. I didn't realize they were going to be this big you get 75 wipes in each one of these and i only paid 11.99 for them so I, or 11 something they'll be in my amazon shop probably in travel essentials but i got these so probably gonna bring one of these with me wipe stuff down Ooh. i also got this mini venus razor and it comes with five blades oh no actually there are five blades in this one thing so it's actually really cute i personally use damn i don't remember the brand but they don't have the mini and i didn't feel like bringing the full size razor so i got this one and i'm also sorry if you guys can hear people talking in the background my parents are downstairs i closed my door but they're caribbean they speak really loud so can i open this just cut it out oh no it's just one but it's so cute. This is it. So I'm going to bring this with me because you know sometimes your legs start growing here. As soon as you touch it down. This is what it looks like. Real cute. I like that it has its own case. So I'm going to pack that. I also got this lock from my bag because I'm not really going to be bringing a lot of carry-on luggage so i'm just gonna try to stuff everything in my regular suitcase but i don't want people to be all up in my business so i got this i just have to figure out how to work it and this is a lot more durable lock it's not the one with the key that can be picked so i just gotta make sure i remember the code this is what it looks like this orange i'll leave these all linked in my amazon travel essentials again sorry about the background noise people are talking loudly what do do that get what do do that be okay so yeah, I got these, this pack of 100 black masks because, well, I initially bought them for work because I don't like the ones that we have on my job and I can't wear my mask to work because, you know, it's this cute AF on it. So I'm going to bring these, bring some of these to our location as well, just so that I can keep changing my mask because, you know, when you're sweating, you need to keep changing your mask. You don't want to live on that for hours on end. So I got these. I'm going to pack some of these to go with me as well in addition to some of my masks got these and I'm probably just gonna bring the good handful that I could keep changing them out so this is 50 and then the other 50s in the bag I don't think I need 50 but I'm gonna bring maybe like 20 or so and then I actually bought two giblets today to put on my crocs I just don't know which croc I'm putting these on yet this is a slice of cake that I bought. She's so cute. And I also bought this gumball machine. Really cute as well. My fingers look very crusty and my hands are very ashy because I just washed them. So I don't know if I'm putting them on my white Crocs yet or my signature stitch Crocs. I don't know. But I want to show you guys this too because I got a package from Girly Touches very random but thank you to my girly touches fam for sending me i think i already know what's in here it might be lip glosses i do own the let's be clear gloss 
So I'm pretty sure she sent me some more of her other glasses. Yes, she did. These are definitely coming with me on vacay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come oh, on, there's a message, a little note. Thank you for the constant support and makes the world. So happy you love Leslie Karen. Just had to send you these two shades and join Naira. She's so sweet. Thank you, sus. So this is Rosami and Drippin. I said wow. I said wow. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave these linked down below because these are so cute. Good quality blue glosses, black on business, packaging is elite, very pretty. Oh wow, yeah. Look at dripping. Fire. So thank you again to my girly touches fam. Y'all are real cute. So I got two new lip glosses to add to my collection to complete my girly touches lip gloss collection. So thank you for that again. Oh, what how did I forget this? I also forgot to show you guys this tripod. So I love my Joby tripod, handheld tripod, but I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of bulky, so it's more so for days when i'm like doing heavy duty stuff if i'm like vlogging outside like me taking pictures and stuff but something that's quick on the go can fit in my bag i figured i'd pick this one up both kendra and zay has have this one and they always clocking me <laughs> for having my camera rested on every and anything i literally put, will put my camera anywhere girl so i decided to pick this one up from amazon and it was only like 20 something dollars show you guys it so this is a tripod yes he is small it could fit in damn near any bag yeah i know i stay bringing a small bag and then the gimbal i think this is called the gimbal rotates you can also extend it somehow how does one extend i know it extends let me read the instructions there aren't any the one time you need the instructions Anywho, <laughs> by the time this video goes live, I'm, I'm definitely going to figure out how to extend it. I just don't. This is embarrassing. These will be linked in my Amazon shop. Everything that I showed you guys today will be linked in my Amazon shop. Early touches, lip glosses, those will, be, those will be linked down below. And now I low-key need to get my life together because I started packing. But I need to kind of like finish packing continue packing not necessarily finished because i still have to do like my last minute throw-ins but i feel like i want to take some stuff out and just reevaluate some of the things that i'm bringing because i feel like i've packed for 12 days when i'm not even going to be there for a week so i need to get my life together okay i wanted to come on here and update you guys i just spent some time kind of going through my suitcase taking out stuff that i felt like i probably wasn't gonna wear putting stuff in there that i might wear girl i don't know not my wig over there just sitting <laughs> chilling <laughs> but this is what my suitcase looks like now so i think i'm gonna so i'm gonna be not i don't even think i'm going to be bringing this suitcase the last time i brought a smaller one this is a medium sized suitcase so the last time i packed when i went to jamaica i packed a small suitcase and my duffel bag like my pink victoria's secret duffel bag and i also had my juicy couture backpack that is over there i'm going to show you guys that in a second but i'm not gonna lie i was low-key struggling in the airport trying to maneuver it was just too much girl my arms was hurting so this time i'm going to bring the medium bag even though i'm going for fewer days than my jamaica trip to couture backpack this was my travel bag even in buffalo so that and my duffel from victoria Secret. but i'm not bringing that this time around i'm just going to bring the medium bag and my backpack so all my clothes travel essentials are going to be in the medium bag and then my book bag i'm going to put my camera I'm probably gonna have my makeup in a little like vanity purse type of thing just so I can bring that through TSA with me and in my backpack I'm gonna have my camera as I mentioned all the essentials passport you know the stuff that need to be in your bag so yeah I'm working on packing that right now so far we looking good so far we looking good it's very tiring but I do like packing more than I like unpacking <laughs> I will say that girl I think I'm so tired because I actually worked today TBH I'm trying to think if there's anything else actually I think I might pack my makeup with you guys even though I might be linking Zay and Kendra tomorrow I think I'm gonna pack my makeup with you guys real quick just so you guys can kind of see what I bring with me okay so makeup is gonna go in this 
this is my merit bag every time well when you place your first order on merit they send you a bag so i'm going to bring it in this so i've laid everything out for you guys to see it in full right primer i'm going to bring my fenty beauty soft matte really good for if you're in a really good for hot climates especially if you have combination skin this can hold me down or you can use the true matte all my brow products so fenty beauty brow wax i'm going to bring my anastasia brow pencil along with my benefit brow pencil the goof proof and i'm going to bring my benefit what is this called this is the brow gel from benefit on my brow stuff right i don't need to pack a spoolie brush because there are spoolies on all three of these right or four of these right then foundation i'm going to be bringing my huda this is a great matte foundation and i'm going to bring my fenty beauty hydrating foundation as well because this will probably be the great mix this is going to work when i get there once i start to tan girl i might need to mix a little bit so i'm going to bring that also bring in my powder foundation from fenty because on days when i don't feel like doing too much but i want a little coverage she gonna get it done okay concealer i'm going to bring the nars this is the other nars to conceal my brows and i'm going to bring my fenty matchstick espresso to contour so see that's done I'm bringing one blush. This is Snackaroon Blush by Beauty Bakery. This is great for every day. It's a nice orange. It'll work for every day. I'm going to be glowing for sure. So I'm going to bring my Danessa Myricks and Light Highlighter. And for bronzer, I'm going to bring my Sephora Matte Ibiza Bronzer. And this is it for makeup. Legit. I might pack an eyeshadow palette, but the last time, girl, I did not even use it. So I'm bringing three. I'm bringing this CoverGirl True Naked Desert Glamping Palette. Because I am wearing some oranges some nudes bringing this natasha denona peak palette these oranges on its own girl it's a look and i'm bringing this huda beauty sapphire obsessions palette girl my nails don't mind it this is what it looks like because i do have some blues in the bag as well and i forgot to show y'all i'm bringing this mini mascara this one is coming from nars it's their climax mascara i know my camera's not picking it up but mini mascara go to because you don't need a full size so that's it for makeup of course i'm going to pack a sponge and some brushes but that's it and did i mention oh because i know i threw it in there but i have to show y'all at this point milani need to pay me because make it last spf setting spray this one is that girl and this is the makeup bag packed so it's currently 7 39 on tuesday right same night same night and i'm acting like things will change like it's a new day but it's the same night and i'm about to start editing this video because i don't want to bring it into tomorrow because i don't really feel like i have much else to vlog regarding packing like i'm gonna put like my last minute essentials but i need this video to go up you know in time too like if i wait until the day before i'm leaving it's not gonna go up on time for you guys to see it so i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog out i do want to note that um the perfume that i bought earlier the rollerball right i sprayed it on my body before i went to work and then i wore it and then i wore it while i was at work it definitely lasted it was an all-day perfume or like it's an all-day perfume it lasted but low-key i'm trying to figure out if i need it because i feel like i have not similar scents but i have a lot of here's the thing i'm gonna just be honest with y'all as i mentioned i went in there to buy a fragrance for the nighttime right rollerball for the nighttime for my trip and i didn't really see anything at that location so not to say i got that off impulse because i actually really like the scent but now I'm thinking about it now that I have it. I'm trying to figure out if I should keep it because I have not similar scents, but I don't necessarily need another everyday clean scent. Is that making sense? So I don't know. I think, <laughs> excuse me, bless me. I think that I might wear it maybe like one or two more times. Let it dry down again, see if I really, really like it enough to keep it because I can always just switch it for something that I feel like I'm going to wear a lot more often. That makes sense? So yeah, I want to update you guys on that. But it is a really nice fragrance. And again, I've never heard from heard of, I've never heard about the brand, but I actually really like the scent. But I don't know if I need to keep it. So I do want to let you guys know that. But yeah, it's more of like an everyday clean. So I'll let you guys know in the future if I keep it, if I end up returning it. But I don't want to let you guys know about that. But other than that, girl, 
I'm holla at y'all because I need to start editing this video or at least start, you know, putting all the files onto Final Cut Pro so that way I can upload that for you guys tomorrow when you'll see it on Wednesday. Hopefully it doesn't go up too late. If it does, I apologize, but I have a lot of running around to do tomorrow that you guys will see. So y'all are probably getting straight vlogs for the next two videos, so I hope you guys are okay with that. We'll be back with the beauty content when I get back from my trip, girl. You know, all that other odd content other than vlogs. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up. <coughs> thumbs, thumbs it up down below. Make sure you comment on something down below. Let me know if you guys have heard about the perfume brand that I meant, that I showed you guys. If you have any packing tips for me or for any Stitch Gang members, feel free to drop it down below if you're going on any trips soon in the near future. Definitely let me know down below. If you haven't already subscribed, you've made it this far, and you haven't already subscribed, sis, just subscribe. You love it here, just subscribe. Just subscribe. But y'all already know I love you guys. I'll see you guys on in the next one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Good night, slash good morning, slash good evening. Whenever you're watching this, have a good one, okay? Peace.